There's no signs of the lookout prohibiting drone flight. But it is bloody windy. I'm tempted, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Is, I'm gonna have a think about that for a second. We'll see what we have, see what we come up with. You wanna get away? You better get in line. Won't go another day of wasting any time. I've got a lot to say. Can't hold it in this time. Got no filter. I got no filter. No filter. I got no filter. No filter. I got no filter. No filter. Good campers. Welcome to South Australia and welcome to Port McDonnell. We are currently perched on a cliffside lookout. Uh, and this is also a free camp. Now, to be honest, when we planned this stop, we thought yeah, free camp, cliffside, looks pretty stunning. Uh, and I'm hoping you can hear me over the wind. But to be honest, we're not gonna stay here. I'll just give you a bit of a look around. right by the main road not that there's a lot of traffic big empty area now it is pet friendly uh, but certainly this stop and I'll show you where we are on the map over here but it's definitely not somewhere where I would consider um, in a pinch yes but uh, I can tell you from inside the van we've just stopped to put some lunch on and the van is rocking like nobody's business. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to stay here overnight. I don't think we get a lot of sleep. So we're probably going to, uh, in fact, turn around and head straight back up into Mount Gambia. So this is the map of where we are at the moment. So at the moment, we are sitting down here. We're actually going to come back along this road here. We might look at Riddick Bay and potentially stop here or possibly even Brown Bay and then head back up Greenpoint Road and then all the way back up into Mount Gambia. And there is also a uh, free camp in Mount Gambia that we're going to look at as well. So that's where we are at the moment. Uh, also, just want to give a really big shout out to the Portland Bay Holiday Park and to Dee and Gav who were our gracious hosts for the two nights we're in Portland. Uh, we are definitely going to go back there. And if you are, if any of you viewers are doing a bit of a trip down the south coast and you are stopping in Portland, definitely, definitely, definitely head into the Portland Bay Holiday Park. Uh, there is a free camp there as well. Uh, it's a 48 hour caravan pull up. Uh, it was full when we got there. Uh, you can't reserve it. It's uh, first in best dressed. But to be honest, it wasn't that spacious and you're pretty much packed in like sardines. Uh, so we, we decided to try out the the holiday park and we're really really glad we did it was fantastic uh, so again Gav D thank you so much for your hospitality and we'll see you again probably this time next year anyway guys uh, we'll carry on uh, I'm gonna go and have a bite of lunch the car was preheating at the moment a bit of pasta that we cooked from last night uh, but I'll tell you what this view though if the wind was a little bit less uh, blowy and the sun was out, this would be a pretty magic spot, I've got to say. And today you find us in Mount Gambia at the Umphurston sinkhole. I think that's how you say it, Umphurston, Umphurston, something like that. Anyway, uh, unfortunately this is another little scenic attraction that dogs are not permitted. I have got the dogs with me, they're right here. Can't go down the stairs with them. So Carla's gone down to take some photos. I'll see if I can spot her down there. There she goes. Give us a wave, Bubby. So Carla's down there taking some photos. I'm going to go down there in a minute after she's uh, after she's come back. She's going to look after the girls. I'm going to have a wander down and have a look myself, and I'll take you guys with me. Stay tuned. All right, Carla's back with me. Let's go for a wander downstairs. Leave her with the dogs. Pretty steep staircase, so. Uh... If you're not very fit, this mightn't be for you. Mm -hmm. 
So they've set this up so that you can come down here and set up a barbecue. In fact, there is what appears to be an old wood-fired barbecue behind me. I'm not going to check that out. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit yucky. But definitely, uh, definitely set up for a nice little spot to come and have a bite to eat. Let's keep walking on. Here, a little square knock there. Beehive, a natural beehive. At least I hope they're bees and not wasps. There was a bee warning upstairs. Where I'm standing at the moment, this used to be set up as a little miniature lake. I used to sail boats around here, uh, tiny little rowboats. Uh, the Umphistons who owned this set that up uh, just as a little attraction on their property. So a lot of the, uh, a lot of this has been redone, reworked uh, since the turn of the, turn of the uh, 1900s. It is just a. It's just beautiful down here. I think this was once somebody's private property. It's just amazing. And again, we got evidence of more beehives all through the place. Try and zoom in in post and see if I can zoom in on that one up there. It's just beautiful. Unfortunately, I can't keep going down. We're a bit barricaded. It's just looking at the sign behind me. Uh, apparently, if you get right up close to the walls, you can see fossils of old seashells from when this was under all underwater. What an absolutely amazing place. Was not expecting to find this in Mount Gambia. This is just stunning. There's actually uh, some more places to go as well. There's a uh, sequence of culvert which I'm going to go and have a wander around. It seems sick. Hope the camera holds up here. It, uh, it's pretty dark in here. Oh, I hear Ember having a bit of a bark at something upstairs. I'm almost directly underneath that uh, look at where Carla is perched. Let's just have a little bit of a wander through. It's like something out of a movie set.
just amazing. Absolutely stunning. Old Mount Gambia. We've got a couple more places to go. Hopefully they're going to be uh, just as thrilling as this. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We'll see you guys at the next stop. Well, after that last visit, um, a little bit disappointed with the next one. We're at the Cave Gardens here in Mount Gambia, and while behind me is get a cursory look, this is just absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. But then, when you get down into the depths of the cave, it is just full of rubbish that people have thrown down here. There's no way to get down there to get it out. There's tennis balls, there's McDonald's, bad not McDonald's, there's KFC tubs, plastic bags, bottles, cans couple of shopping trolleys goodness knows what else is down there I noticed on the way up just sort of about here there's a water bottle just sitting on the edge more rubbish yeah it doesn't matter where you go somebody's got to put their name on the rock don't they that scratching and people carving in the names it all go it all just disappear and the names will be just as forgotten as the people that wrote them instead we uh, how that's possible but all the way over here just in this little hollow here there's a beehive similar to the ones we saw at the last at the sinkhole but there's a broom head in there <sighs> it is what it is people will be people anyway we got one more stop on the way back to the camp so uh, let's hope that that's a little bit more exciting. See you in a sec. Well, after that last disappointment, Mount Gambia has picked up its game and then some. We're at the Crater Lakes or the Blue Lakes. Uh, we're here at the right time of year. Uh, this time of year, the lakes do take on a really vivid blue hue, whereas over the winter months, they do tend to, tend to recede back to a greyish uh, colour. This is, uh, these lakes were formed by an explosive volcanic eruption. It created these great, these, this giant lake. It's very windy up here. I hope you can hear me over the wind. So the rough, uh, rough volume of the lakes is about, uh, 36,000 million litres, or 36 billion litres. Uh, that's a lot of water. Uh, the, the local township consumes around about one-tenth of that annually. In fact, just over here on the right, This building here is the uh, the pumping house. You can see some works going on down here as well. I don't know if you can hear, see them, we can definitely hear them.
Now the next question is, there's no signs of the look at prohibiting drone flight. But it is bloody windy. Tempted, but I don't know if it's a good idea. It's just, I'm gonna have a think about that for a second. See what we have, see what we come up with. Uh, I will say I'm a little surprised that the only thing we've had go wrong on a road trip like this is in the Prado. Uh, but look, it is what it is. We'll see what we can find. I'll go through the toolkit, see if we can get it fixed. <laughs>